Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to lesson two of how to program in C++. Yes, today we're going to be learning how to do variables. So let's quickly give a sort of explanation, I guess, of what variables are in basic terms, like very basic terms. So it's easy for you to understand. Let me get out something big enough. Okay, cool. So what is a variable? A variable is kind of like a box which holds whatever you tell it to. So, for example, if I put in the C++ code int int um, and then the name of the variable, so number I'm just assuming that my variable is called number or though, I, uh, well, yeah, okay, number and then I'll put equals to set it to the default value of 10 say okay so what this does is it creates a box which is the right size for an integer and an integer is a number anywhere from minus 32,768 to a positive value of 32,767 so there you go you don't need to know that off by heart. You don't really need to know that at all. Just know that you can hold a very large number, but it can't have a decimal point. So that creates our box, which holds numbers, and it gives it the name number. So imagine our box has this name tag that has number written in it very sloppily, but yeah, you get the idea. And by default, we're putting 10 into this box. So there you go, 10 in a box that's the right size for an integer, being a standard number, and it's labeled with the name number. So we can then access that by saying, like, if we wanted to change that box's value to 6, we could go number that equals 6. And then that would change that from 10 to 6 instead. So there, that's that's kind of a basic idea of what variables are. Let's go ahead and like start using them, I guess. I'll show you how to use them. So you're going to want to get code blocks loaded up again. And we're going to start from the beginning every time for the next few lessons and then eventually I'll start saying you've got to have the code from the previous lesson, but uh, that's not for a while yet. So create a new project console application just as we did before next C++ and we're gonna call this um, uh, variables Ver variables wow bad spelling for the win and that's gonna be in my lessons folder okay cool you can call it whatever you want you don't need to call it variables in fact you probably shouldn't call it variables but there you go so click on your main cpp get it up again let's delete this again just so we can make sure we're learning to type this stuff in by off by heart so we are include and then we need to put in io stream input output stream and then we're going to be using namespace oops std and then we're going to start up our main so in main then the brackets and then our curly braces so we're at this point now i'm just going to add the return zero now so we don't have to add that later so um in fact let's give our project a name just quickly good practice as i said before <laughs> um variables uh by jewels. Okay, super cool. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, I guess, is make our variables. So let's make one called, well, first of all, it's an integer. We need to add that. And then we'll add in, oh, what should we call this? We'll call it number. And then we'll make that equal to 98. So there's our box containing the number 98, which is suitable for numbers anywhere from 32,000 blah, 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 to, you know, whatever I said earlier. I can't remember. Uh, so let's try and display what's held in that variable now. So 
We're going to do the same thing we did last time with the C out. And we're going to say in parentheses num the the <laughs> variable number is equal to colon space and then we're going to put in the pointy inward arrows again because you can't use a variable from within a parenthesis that's only for something you want to put into the C out so um, to put the double arrows again and type number as this is the name of our variable and then we can just add I guess we'll add a new line so new L um, I mean end L my bad and we'll just add a semicolon to that so this should display our number uh, let's, let's try it build and run cool so the variable number is equal to 98 right as it says there so that's that's not very fun on its own but how about we make a program that can add two numbers together how about how about we try that so let's let's make in number two remember uh, variables can only be um, letters symbols and numbers but you cannot use spaces in your variable names it just will not work trust me on that one so let's make number two something like 25 and I guess we can add them together now so let's let's create another variable just for adding them together so in well result and we can just leave that empty actually when you leave something empty like this uh, it basically has no value in it so you will probably bring up an error or depending on your compiler it might default it to zero uh, but you should never use a variable like compare this variable to say something else without first putting a value in it it's just not good you shouldn't do that you should not do that or try and add a value to it without setting it to something specific first kind of gives you odd numbers so now that we've made that uh, we can go back into our main and we'll we'll make the code to add them together so number plus num oops number two uh, my bad let's just go back <laughs> sorry about that and um, result equals number plus number two uh, God space. I'm a little bit tired today, as you can tell. I'm kind of messing up, but it, make sure you see me go all the way to the end before you type it in. <laughs> and uh, so result will now hold number plus number two. Now you've got many different operators. These are called operators um, that do different things. So plus obviously adds these two together. If I was to do minus, that would take um, that one off of this one if I was to do a little star uh, or an asterisk it would multiply them by each other so that times that and if I was to do a forward slash it would be a division so this divided by that now there's a few more but we'll get on to those later they're a bit more complicated but these are the basics so really the plus and minus are really obvious but try and remember the whole star thing and try and remember the forward slash uh, but we'll just go with plus right now and then we'll change number here the thing that we're displaying to result and then let's change up our message a little bit too uh, we'll go to for number plus number two is equal to and then result okay so let's try running our program build and run and there you go that's them both added together 123 but there is a way we can make this program a little bit more efficient so let's go do that um, we could just go straight for both of these numbers added together and get rid of this result altogether so let's delete that yeah, this just just to keep down the code a little bit. You can just go straight for number, oops, 
number plus number two. And this will add them together on the spot. This will not create a separate uh, variable, so number and number two will remain the same, but it does give us the result in our message. So let's just try that out. And yep, same answer. So let's make let's make a realistic, like proper program out of this, I guess. So we'll make one in okay, let's get rid of them actually. Better idea. Int width equals say 40 centimeters. And int height equals 32 centimeters. Obviously you're not typing in the centimeters. Uh, that's a thing that the computer does not need to know about. And uh, okay, so we'll type in for the message area of rectangle is equal got to and then for what are adding together we'll put width plus height and that should give us the area of our imaginary rectangle with the width of 40 and the height of 32 there we go 72 uh, actually my bad sorry that's not how you work out the area <laughs> it's times wow that was a a low moment for me but yeah there you go it's equal to 100 uh, 1280 square centimeters we could even add in the square centimeters at the end which we'll do because we have plenty of time of yours to waste ha <laughs> ha so just add in another double arrow and then in parentheses centimeter and I'll add a full st stop at the end as well actually and then close the parentheses then another double arrow and then end line and there you go beautiful beautiful first well second program and I guess tomorrow we'll go over how to use well how to get user input so you can ask the user for a number they can enter in and then that opens up all sorts of possibilities like a version of this program where you can enter in your own width and height woohoo so I'll see you guys then uh, thanks for watching and more real soon